This is our ceiling. We've been avoiding finishing it for over a year now, but this week we are going to completely finish the ceiling and the entire room. You lost an ear on the rod. This ceiling, it's been a long time coming. I mean, it does its thing. It's, it's ceiling-ing right now. It, we don't need to do this, but it's aesthetics. It needs to be finished. This room is so close to being there. Supervisors. This week, we are going to box the trusses, finish trimming everything, complete the lighting, and paint it all. Might be a little ambitious, but we got a week. Let's get it. The hard part is finally done. We now have a method to cover up our trusses and make them look beautiful. What we've done is we figured out the angle. We have our template right here on scrap wood and we are going to do the entire long pieces on the left-hand side of the cabin first. That way we're staying on the same task and we're not switch swapping around and forgetting how we did it. Now, we're gonna work on number two because we have about 20 pieces to make. Oh, wish us luck. So, you spend the extra money and you buy the nice wood that's inside the store, and look what you get. Okay, we're looking good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now we're making a rainbow. What is this? It's so bad. What is this? and they sell it for a premium. <clears throat> the whole hand fits through there. This looks probably 10 times more awesome than I thought it would. I can't believe it took us this long to do it. It's when your mind pretends like it's gonna be much harder than it is. It's mind over matter here. This is how this is getting done today. <laughs> it looks spectacular. Look above my head how nice that looks. <gasps> For context, we love a good project. Three years ago, we purchased this abandoned cabin and with no experience, we challenged ourselves to spend each day transforming it to an off-grid cabin to call home. Let's remember, the cabin used to look like this and we cannot wait to show you what it's going to look like at the end of this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos about building, adventuring, and off-grid living. I've been going to interior design school lately on TikTok and <laughs> what I've learned is whatever you want to stand out in your house is what you need to make a different color. If you haven't figured it out yet, I want to micro cement them. Crystal wants to, what? I was just thinking about white paint. White paint. Maybe we should ask the group chat. We have a group chat. If you want to join it, you can go right private here. Chat. It's private, exclusive. We love it. They help us with so much stuff and we just kick it on there. So if you want to join, click the link right here. Glue. Oh my God, I was like, glue, baby, glue, glue, baby, glue. Everybody loves leftovers. Bon appetit. How is it? Here it dug in. New recipe, baby. Delicioso. Blizzard! All of a sudden, eat the taco and you look outside. Tools are getting covered out here, everyone. It looks magical, though. It's cold. Yikes! You got all snowy too, bear. <laughs> I'm chilled to the bone. We started making beam number one right there. But for some reason, it is not working out. Either because our brains are a little tired 
or because it's completely different than the other side of the cabin. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Winter duty calls. You girls gonna come help mom? Let's go. We're gonna let the sun do the rest of the job since it's shining out so bright today. I love it. There it is everyone, the sun. Just in case you haven't seen it in a while, I'll share it with you. Thanks girl. Bye, thank you. Well, the wifey has coffee, the girls are eating their breakfast, and I'm starting my morning with a tea, so I still have this nasty cough, but I have to say, standing here in the kitchen and looking up at the ceiling, it is going to look phenomenal. All of the bright light that's gonna be able to come in and bounce off that ceiling and reflect into this space, it just gets brighter and brighter and brighter in this tiny, cute cabin, and that makes me so happy. Oh yeah, and good morning. <laughs> tired but I honestly have so much fun taking care of the homestead in the winter when there's so much snow like this it gives me this sense of summer I know that sounds weird but in summer there's so much to maintain the gardens the yard everything you're constantly bit bopping around out there and in the winter when we finally get some fresh pow it just I don't know it gives me a sense of purpose I love it Jazz, when can we get chickens? The Van Wives Homestead on Heyday has three chickens. <laughs> There's nothing we love more than building and homesteading, and whenever we have a break or after a long day's work, we're always looking for ways to relax, and we're so happy Heyday reached out. We wish we found them sooner. This morning I did some planting. Perfect, right to my silo. Corn's going down. Everything I've created and built on there inspires me for our projects here. Like, where should we put the chicken coop? In all reality, it's a great escape, and Things get done so much faster over there. No 98%. Heyday is a super fun and free mobile game that you can play. It's super relaxing. You can also sell your harvest and your goods to continue to buy more animals and expand your land. Heyday is running a bunny collecting event to raise money to celebrate this Easter event. Heyday will be donating $50,000 to Fauna and Flora, whose mission is to protect the diversity of life on Earth, working closely with local conservation organizations in 48 countries. Collect the chocolate bunnies and turn them into real world impact. Sir David Attenborough is vice president. Download Heyday using the link in our description or use this QR code to come play and help make a difference. Look at how cute my cabin is. My feet's open. Wow, I bake bread there. Delivery for your real life homestead. The girls and I have come out for a walk, but also to check on our road because it's not maintained, we need to plow it and I want to keep at it so we don't have an episode like last week when we arrived back at our cabin and we couldn't even get down our road or our driveway. We were literally buried in snow, everyone. So now that we're home, we are going to maintain it. I'm going to look at the forecast to see if there's any more snow coming because if there is, I'm gonna probably have to plow it now. And it's not looking too shabby right now. It's actually looking pretty magical. Oh, here comes the sea. 
Do you think we're gonna have to plow, Bella? Bella's already getting snowballs from all the packing snow and Izzy doing at their paws. Okay, so all I see is negative 10, negative 11. We're gonna have some cold nights, some cold days. Doesn't look like there's any snow in the forecast, so I think we'll be okay. There's a lot of sun in the forecast, which means this will probably melt. Come here! Crystal's gonna be happy about this report back to her because she is so excited to do the beams today. Coffee number two, breakfast, and then we can start the beams? Yeah, girl. All right, almost time, everyone. We're not avoiding it. There's just a lot to do in the winter. <laughs> what we did to this side, we have now completed that side, and it looks phenomenal, especially because the windows over here are all trimmed. It's looking mighty fine. Now we need to extend what we've done, so that way it meets right in the middle. Crystal has got on the ladder and made us a brand new template that way, we can smash this out of the park as well. Why am I saying smash this out of the park? <laughs> I don't know if I smashed it out of the park. But. Probably another uh, whole day working on the top part here. So that works perfect, right? I cut this on an angle, so that way this piece comes in and meets it. You're a carpenter. No, no, that. Carpenter crystal. I'm a DIYer. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there are a lot of angles. A lot. Every single piece is cut on an angle. And we have Google, Googled. We've Googled and gone on every form of how to do this. We are doing it correctly. And all anyone ever says is, you're doing great. It's just going to be a slow going process. So, method's a lot like the last one. Angle, angle, cut, cut, cut. Glue, 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 clamp, clip, clamp, nail, screw, in. <laughs> okay, we got our second piece up. The first cut is definitely the wrong way, but wood filler fixes a lot of things. We'll do that later. But now we know. Good job, DIY Carpenter Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. It's on ups and downs. And I am sharing, but the burger queen herself already had a burger before this, so. <laughs> oh yeah. Good. So good. The bread comes, the burger. Yummy. The broil. <sighs> Tea is ready. Thanks, girl. And now we're going into overtime. And they said it wasn't supposed to snow. Welcome back. Today we've lost track. Do you look here in the iPhone or here in the iPhone? Well, it looks good for you. Time to figure out the angle so we can finish off these beams. Attempt numero dos? Four. Quatro. Am I speaking Sp I'm speaking French. We're in Canada. Almost, oh, it's pretty perfect. 60. Oh, what was this angle? What? I pulled a crystal. We were doing so well for so long and we've now surpassed making the bottoms that we're onto some new angles and these new angles are no joke. I cannot believe for a second that we thought we were qualified for this. I know we're gonna get through it, but holy smokes. These top pieces are so hard because there's so many angles on both ends of the pieces of wood that I'm, I don't even, can you even understand that? What I'm saying? Anyways, there's a lot of angles and this is really challenging. There's more than angles too. <sighs> I failed grade nine math. It's really showing. We've been going for a few hours now, and we actually have no pieces up yet. <laughs> <sighs> Great. 
14. Does anyone want my job and work on the job site with Crystal? I'm uh, quitting after today. <laughs> this is what she's making me cut off, everyone. That goes straight. <laughs> yeah. We did it. Progress. Good job, mom. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. And two ticks. How do we do this? Are <laughs> we just gonna play this? Yeah. Yeah, we don't do it. Hey! Just kidding. <laughs> when you own a planer, you've got no problems. Mine is being covered in sawdust. Oh my goodness. How are you gonna work? I'm not. I called in sick. Casserole again. Every day looks the same. Casserole and beams. Just kidding. <laughs> it's so delicious, I can't wait. Another night of beams. Mm, mm, We're getting mm, very mm, close. Mm. What day are we on? Four. Day four? We're still doing this. <laughs> the only thing keeping us motivated right now is just how good they are looking and how awesome it's turning out. However, this is a very attention to detail, patient kind of person job, which is... Not me. <laughs> Not always us. Anyway. You know what's going on now, right everyone? You haven't figured it out then. Not much more I can do. We'll see you on the next big exciting thing. We'll probably say hi tomorrow over casseroles. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to the next day. Take five. Welcome back to the next day. Welcome back to the next day. Day six. Still doing the same thing. We are doing the same thing over and over and over. And I'm struggling. Maybe I should just say, done. We are now on to the final stage, the top trusses where they meet the ceiling. Can you believe it? This is our template and it fits perfectly up there. Show them the magic. This is so pretty. Like, this is the type of winter I could live for. Look yeah. at this. Where are we? Like, I actually feel like I'm in a little movie out here. It's so pretty. You are. <gasps> Clearly, there's a camera on you. <laughs> I love it. You're ruining the peace and quiet. Yeah, it's a little birthday, too. Wow. <laughs> we are nearing the finish line with boxing in the trusses. In the very, very last part, the wood is getting short. Our attention spans. Anyone else play Have a Hotel? I was going to say this is day I've lost track, but I don't even want to say that. I want to give us all the credit we deserve. What day is this? This is day six. And you know what? I'm proud. I am so proud that we are here. Today is the day. The boxing of the trusses is complete and we move on to the next step. Wow, 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 we wow. Now we just need to cut 10 more pieces that match our template, make the sides, and hammer clamp and glue them in. Listen up, here's a story about two girls who live in a cute cabin and all day and all night and everything they do is just cut their trusses and glue them together. Anybody else want Miley Cyrus's arms? We're done! Boxing in the beam! Woo! We're done! My arms hurt. Woohoo! That was a lot of work. <clears throat> You're gonna want Jasmine arms, not Miley Cyrus arms, Crystal. I just actually cannot believe we tackled this for so long. We even asked people on our Instagram <laughs> if someone would come and help us do this because we were not going to do it ourselves. And we got a lot of replies actually and people even yeah. came. We even had some subscribers come over and potentially um, help us with this. But we just somehow came back from being away and said, let's tackle it. And so here we are. We did it. Here we are. Wow, the sun just went away hardcore. We did it! 
Wow, there's still so much more to do, but to know that every single angle is cut and every single truss is boxed is absolutely huge. It Incredible. looks amazing. Yeah. I left my screwdriver in the ceiling. As promised, we are gonna get this entire room done. We started by trimming all the windows, and of course, I immediately cleaned them. <laughs> Continued filling all the little gaps, while our supervisors took giant naps on the job, planed the beams for absolute perfection, hours upon hours of sanding, and we admired the big mess we made. Lastly, climbed back up into the ceiling to hang our lights, something we've been looking forward to so much. Wow, it's hanging. Don't touch the breaker yet. Oh my God, no. Okay, good. No, not never touching the breaker, actually. Oh, you want me to touch the breaker? <laughs> I didn't hit the breaker? Nope. It's so That's pretty. beautiful. It ties oh the place. Oh my gosh. Look how nice they look. An artist made these by hand. Yeah. They are absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is a horse cock and it works like this. So when this is hanging, the weight pulls and this tightens. It's like a... Remember those little things you used to do as kids at like the arcade? One, trap your fingers. Put, yeah, you trap, <clears throat> trap your fingers and you try to pull. That's what it's doing to the wire. The lights are lighting. They look absolutely phenomenal. Better than we could have imagined and we've just been soaking in all of the beauty. This week, <laughs> it's been so much longer than a week, has pulled together the vision for this room. So much of what's happened up here, the trim, the lights, the beams, the, the ceiling. percent It all pulls together the vision. I love my hair so much. <laughs> I love it. Casserole again. 